Hello and welcome to the Torres Vedra Museum of Contemporary Art. Today I'm in the exhibition of Glass Houses by Calliope Amorphis. For over a decade, Calliope Amorphis has explored dreamlike and surreal narratives through a diverse portfolio of fine art, portraiture, experimental photography, and conceptual art. Whether excavating the contents of her own subconscious in self-portraiture, documenting the people and environment around her, or experimenting with unique conceptual processes, Amorphous takes the viewer to a place where alienation and fragility are offset by moments of beauty. A self-taught photographer, Amorphous creates her own alternative methodologies using handmade and alternative lighting as well as experimenting with textiles, surfaces, mirrors, and in-camera distortion techniques. Much of Amorphous's work uses reflections, blur, mirrors, and multiple exposures to lead the viewer through the artist's favorite themes, identity, mortality, time, and consciousness. In this series, Glass Houses, she herself appears in a series of surreal and distorted self-portraits, which look as if they are submerged in water. Of the series, Lancia Trend Visions wrote, the mirror is just a surface, exactly like the photographs that portray it. They cannot depict what is hidden under their patina. The distortion of our fears, the destructuring push of our desires. But photographer Calliope Amorphous searches for just that impalpable spirit. In her distorted self-portraits, Amorphous explores what she calls the fluid nature of identity. Let's take a close look at her photographic works. Calliope Amorphous says of this series, in glass houses, I capture split-second deconstructions of my own reflection by manipulating flexible mirror boards made from polyester film. The light and color sensitivity of the surface is similar to water, creating a reflection which passes through countless configurations in a fraction of a second. In this project, I confront questions of self-image and the ways in which our interior worlds conflict with our exterior form. How does the image that we present to the world differ from what we see when we look in the mirror. If our desires, fears, secrets, and vulnerabilities were manifested physically, what might they look like? The process of working with these mirrors acts like a screen for my subconscious mind, often answering questions and revealing deeper aspects of my hopes, fears, and memories in the resulting image. I began this series in 2012 and will continue working with this process in the future because it has been my favorite experimental process. Let's take a close look at near-death experience. This is a theatrical piece, a piece filled with blurred movement, dancing reflections and otherworldly distortion that complements the feeling behind the title of the work. It is an emotional piece of surrendering to human mortality, a floating subject between light, purgatory, or darkness. The body is separating between worlds from the chest, the small, distorted face has an accepting, serene emotion. The arms are reaching out, battling with uncertainty to let go or symbolize a return to her own mortality. This work combines all of these feelings in one. This illustrates Amorphous' true artistic technique. Like many of her works in this series, it is another piece that leaves the viewer with uncertain, uneasy feeling of our reality. Let's take a close look at Go Back. A rare work in which we see the artist's hand in a non-distorted way and touching her own reflection. This gives us a glimpse of her technique of using a warpable reflective mirror to capture reflections with her camera. Calliope Amorphous captures these images in situ. She does not manipulate her photographs digitally. What she captures is from the camera lens, not a post-processing special effect. This creates a moody and surreal piece through her techniques. 
She is creating a world that is truly fantasy, but realistic in its emotions. For this work, she is capturing his sense of looking at our own self and searching for our true self. Whatever the feeling, the question is, who is asking whom to go back? A question the subject is struggling to answer, leaving us with incomplete answers when we see this contemplative piece. Let's take a look at Butterfly, Framed and Dried. When examining this work at first glance, this piece looks like a painting. Because of Calliope's technique, using the reflective mirrors to capture her image and her use of lighting, she has given this work painterly feeling through the blurring, reflections, and distortions, and we are assured by the artist that it is, in fact, a photograph. The title of this piece is a complete oxymoron of what the artist is trying to convey. The subject is obviously human, but distorted in an uncomfortableness that you sense through a feeling of daze, entrapment, and claustrophobia. Like a butterfly that has been preserved and perished, this work conveys a complete immobility without hope of freedom. Let's take a look at Sunset. In this work, we see two identical beings coming in from the dark of the evening. Distorted by the artist's technique, she captures still identical facial features, a quiet emotion, and the blending of the garment. We can see the sunset setting in the west and reflecting on their faces. The movement of the clouds in the sky can be seen in their garment, fading into the evening sky. This work evokes a feeling of contemplation and emotions felt during a mortal day and making us wonder what is behind the darkness and the mystery it holds in the future. See the complete exhibition of Glass Houses by Calliopomorphus in the Taurus Yithi Museum of Contemporary Art. Limited editions of these fine art photographs are available in the museum store. <laughs>